Hello guys, leo nataka ku prepare biogas so ndani ya hii kipepa ndio the whole procedure rather the whole thing takes place to produce the gas. The kipepa is very hard, you can even step on it, but mimi uoga haiwezi niruhusu. Haiwezi niruhusu ni step on it. Let's get to work. So unava viatu za kazi, make sure umeji cover vizuri ndio usipate mavi cuz we're going to use the cow dung. So unachukua spade yako, I want to clean the cow shed cuz Nishawambia, we're using the cow dung to prepare the gas. So you clean the cow shed. The, the fresh cow dung is better than yenye imeka because yenye imeka ime decompose. They may lose some bacteria that are used to prepare the gas, to prepare, to produce, whatever, man. So the next thing, we're going to use that cow dung, yenye nimeosha hukondani kwa cow shed, to prepare the gas. And we're going to mix it here with water. We rushangi hivyo too, so this is where to eat a he mixer, yeah. We call it the, <laughs> the mixer. So una mix the cow dung with water. So ndio ikuje hapa. It i nini ikue fermented or that process takes place. Ndio sasa ikue gas. The cow shed is clean, as you can see, and this is the cow dung that we're going to use. So una ibeba una ipeleka kwa ile mixer yetu and you're going to regulate the water because haifa ikuwa na maji mob na haifa ikuwa the cow dung ikuwe mob so zinafa kupata na hapo katikati, you know. So unaangalia both sides. <coughs> So you mix it very well with water so and remove the unwanted things so ukaruta mahuti maria meho maybe ngobe skeria mahuti ni seraiketi ya mahuti kiugo wako ruraneria so ukaruta manyamo mau ni guo we only need two things water and the cow dung so those two only so unatoa hizo mavitu and then you release the nini this mixture to the itaje the slurry i don't know the name but una release so inaenda kwa hiyo kipepa where the whole process takes place to produce the gas so ikisha ingia hapo the dung degrades to produce biogas so biogas is like is produced uh, by the bacteria that breaks down some components of the manure in absence of oxygen. So this process happens in absence of oxygen. So it's like fermentation. So this cow dung will be fermented inside that key paper to produce biogas. I don't know what I've said. I don't know whether I'm right, but I'm I'm right. Yeah, I, I am right. <laughs> So, sasa iyo process iki take place, this ki, this ki paper will, nini, will expand. So, hi-fi kuwa inafinyika hivyo venye na, nafinya. So, it will expand na gas ikuwe full. So, after those bacteria are used, this is now the byproduct. So, the waste of the biogas. So, we only need some bacteria to produce the gas. So, ile kitu tuliweka kwa ile saidi ngine, itatokelezea hapa after staying here inside for about 2 to 3 weeks. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. So, that is the byproduct and it is used as fertilizer. So, how we dug it out the moja and around the biri. We cut out the biri. So, to go round two, unaweka your cow dung, you mix it with water, and the whole process continues. <laughs> So here say ni non fresh cow dung. It's also good but they say at ile fresh ndio inakuwa mzuri cuz hijaluz some bacteria. So unajua cow dung contains a carbon among other things. So in the process this that carbon is what is transformed into biogas. Ngokula na kula. <laughs> so unafungulia maji yako. You mix it with the cow dung and story inaendelea. Hey, na hii haslanation, I guess biogas ndio inabamba jube ya gas. We, 
tunaionea pale juu mahasalas <laughs> he so long as uko na mavi you're ready to cook yani so long as the cow dung is available wewe utapika tu anything you want hata ukisikia uko akia wote eh so hii inahitaji tu mavi mm, no my tu so long as we na maimango be you ready to cook una wote <laughs> So you mix it very well with water una remove the unwanted things and then you release it inaenda kwa hiyo kipepa kinaitwa the digester i don't know but sasa on to the next thing sasa hapa ndio gas hui inapitia so after that nini process takes place nani the bacteria zimekuwa gas ah uh, hiyo gas hui inapitia hapa hizo pipes ziko connected hadi huko nyumbani kitchen but if the gas is not used for long kama hutumii gas huko kitchen hui inatokea hapa it's not harmful wewe natokea kwa hako kashimo nimeshindwa kufugua but ndani nika nika pipe tu hapo ndani so the gas inaenda hivyo inapanda inakimbia inakimbia inafika kitchen alafu wewe unapika ukahagira githeri yako ogota <laughs> i mean that is how biogas is produced ni produced ama ni made ama ni nini i don't know so after some time cause to share kakaudan yetu this keep pack itaja unaona kitafura cause gas itajaa hapo and we've said on the other side hii ni by product ya nini haifai kufinyika hivi by the way ikijaa inafaa haiwezi compress but sasa hii ndio by product ile kauda ntuliaka hapo after some bacteria zimetolewa huwa inakuja hapo that is used as fertilizer so una release nini yako hii tulisema tutaiita aje hiyo motukani of code geshoro yeah in greek we call it geshoro <laughs> una release so inaenda ina undergoes the whole process yani the fermentation hiyo ni by product used as fertilizer inakuja hapa inakuwa gas na hivyo ndio tu utaenda kupika cause we are moving away from this this one is like a haibambi hii haibambi mm, haibambi hainunuliki hii we are moving away from this ile sasa inabamba ile iko juu ni hii hii ndio iko juu You see how ni tuhagirite gwashe tuhagirite gwashe unaona inawaka with the nini sijui blue flame so he gas or rather the gas that is produced from the cow dung has a high methane content which makes it flammable ni komuda ni kio era muda because iko na mimi nilisoma chem by the way you know kama udia gefiri tineke gefiri tineke i mean that is the whole thing that is the whole procedure that is the whole process alafu usi mnakumbuka ilikuwa kidogo so sai after some time imeanza ku expand so itajaa bado haijajaa yote goodbye thank you